Hi everyone, this is Isabel the Shabby Hippie. I hope everyone is doing well and I hope you can hear me okay because this is the second time I do the video because I forgot to turn on the microphone the last time. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, so I hope everyone is doing well and thank you for being here. Thank you uh, to my new subscribers. Welcome back to my older ones. Um, and I'm here today to share this beautiful uh, religious journal that I made and um, I am so happy with how it turned out and um, I, it's not a design team project it's a journal that is uh, it's probably going to be in my Etsy shop by the time I make this video if not it will be there shortly afterward um, I'm sorry by the time I load up this video um, so yeah it's uh, I've used before I I go on. I've used um, a junk journal kit from Janie B Journals. Uh, I've used uh, this from my porch prints. I used the scripture scraps, and I also used images from Ruby and Pearl XO. Um, there might be one image there from Adamo prints in on Etsy as well, but I'm not yet positive if it, if it was from him or from ruby and pearl um so yeah so here we go um this is a soft cover journal and it is fabric uh well the inside uh is um a folder uh, that i cut down cut down to size and then i covered it inside and out with fabric so the outside is a quilt i'm not sure if you can tell there probably not but yeah and then the outside I have this little overlay um, beautiful fabric uh, it's embroidered and it's um, it, it's beaded okay and um, it's also been avocado dyed not by me um, I bought this from Marissa at Sweet Pea Curiosity so you guys know I designed for her and I had bought this before I started designing for her and um, I really wanted to use it and I thought it was so perfect for this journal um, so I am going to put Marissa's Etsy shop link um, below so that you can go check out her store and um, I don't think she has any right now but I'm not positive I can't I cannot be positive um, so if you guys like this kind of stuff um, she she does do avocado dyeing and sells them every once in a while and it's just beautiful but they they go really fast so yeah if you're interested just keep checking her shop um, now this here is a trim that I dyed myself um, and then this image is from Ruby and Pearl and I um, put it over top this um, green well I guess it's like a teal colored satin quilt and that's what I used there so now the trim I dyed myself and I also dyed this flower here with avocado dye and then this is what the okay the the side looks like sorry look it does look a little sloppy here but um that's because I lost the form here and then I also made these little charms here okay and and that's the back like you saw and i used a ribbon closure as you can see <coughs> excuse me all right so now everything that i used in here was just the uh, digitals that i mentioned from uh the pages were from uh janie b journals and i believe well actually i actually have the notes it's uh butterflies golden junk journal kit that is the kit that I use from Janie B Journals, and I'll also put her link down beneath, if down the uh, in the description area. The only thing that I did not use that was from a kit was this image here, and um, I got this from a um, an old calendar that I had kept because the images were so beautiful. Um, it was back from I'm almost positive it was 2013 so it, it's pretty old the calendar and so what I did was I cut it down to size and added it here and I thought it was so beautiful that I did not want to cover this image so what I did was I created a pocket but with acetate um, so you can obviously leave it 
without anything in or you can insert something in there a note or something I did put this um, religious card here um, just so you know that there is a pocket there basically and then here um, is where the journal starts and then I made this um, little um, charm here which is uh, angel wings and some seed beads that I added there well angel wing one angel wing <laughs> and then some lace um, and then here this is from Ruby and Pearl and then this scripture card is from my porch prints from the Bible scraps I believe scripture scripture scraps sorry okay so um, like I said, all of the papers, unless they're just coffee dyed or something besides uh, digitals, um, all of the digitals are from Janie B, uh, including this here. And then this is um, from a scrapbook, uh, a scrapbook pack um, that I got as Happy Mail ones. I didn't get the whole scrapbook. I just got bits and pieces, and this was in it, um, and this was a long time ago. Actually, it wasn't Happy Mail. It was um, something I won uh, on YouTube. And so I had saved this along with my uh, religious items that I want to use for journals. And I thought it was perfect, so I put it in here. Um, I have these little stamps of the crosses, so I stamped them in gold. And, oh, by the way, this is, again, avocado dyed. And this was... All of the avocado dyeing was mine except for the the cover, the overlay here. So, so I won't have to say that I that I was the one who did it. But anyway, um, and then here we go: some journaling space, and a little bit of fabric, and a rosette, and some washi tape. And then, oh, there is very light scripture stamping on some of the pages. So it is very light. You can still write over it because it's barely noticeable so I'm not sure if you can pick it up but yeah it's barely noticeable okay and then here is one of my favorite pages um, this is a stamp that I have and I stamped it's um, Our Lady of Guad Guadalupe and um, it says pray for us down here so I stamped it in gold and I also use um, these uh, oh gosh what do you call these these uh, leaf leafy things <laughs> stamps um, and then these are also avocado dyed um, and then I just added this little journaling card there which is uh, it says be joyful in hope patient in affliction and faithful in prayer and then that's just uh, a journaling card well the card itself is from Janie's uh, digitals and then the the script is from my porch print and then I did a little collaging with coffee dyed paper and some other little scraps that I had laying around and some lace so that just goes in here in this little um, glassine bag and when you flip it over you have this other image now this is the image that I think I got from Adamo prints but I'm not positive if I did I'll, I'll add his link below as well um, and then I just layered her over this gorgeous lace and I added this um, ruffle, 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 <laughs> that ruffle, that gold ruffle, oh gosh. And um, here we have a little belly band so you can actually put something in there. And this is vintage lace and then this is from the kit, from Janie's kit. I hope you can see that. Um, and then this little washi tape up here is also from her kit. Some coffee dyed paper with very light script stamping. Um, washi tape, this is from the kit. Um, and then some tags that I made. And this is some embossed um, cardstock. And then I made this tag which says let go and let God. There's a little bit of fabric and a little bit of uh, embroidered um, transparent fabric there and then this one says love is patient love is kind and there's just a, another little collage there and then these just go in whoops and these go in here 
Okay, I think it, there we are. And then we have this one, which is just an, um, some. Uh, I had dyed this cheesecloth, but I can't remember what I dyed it with, so I'm not sure if it's coffee dyed or what. But it's yeah, it's it is dyed because I've had it for a while, and some coffee dyed paper and some of the scriptures from my porch prints and of course you can um, journal on these pages uh, because I did leave them plain so there is quite a bit of room for journaling and uh, this is another tag that I made with just a lo that little ticket there and some uh, cheesecloth and the ribbon and this um, little um, actually it's a big paper clip that I used here Actually, let me just leave it there so I won't be, I won't take too long. And then a little bit of collaging here. And from this um, lace here, I put this, I made this little charm. And I believe it's St. Jude, but I cannot promise you because it's hard for me to see. I'm getting to that age, you know, where you, it's, everything is hard to see. So yeah, um, I put that there with a little seed bead and then I made this little page here and then this is a um, uh, I had made these a while back for some other journals that I had made um, so I thought it was good in there and then here I used one of the my porch prints um, scripture scraps as a pocket and then I made this little tag pocket um, so I just used some uh, embossed cardstock that I um, distressed a little with um, distress ink and then I stamped this here which is I ha well obviously have a stamp that says for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways Psalms 91 11 and then here is the guardian angel which is keeping charge over the children there and guarding them so um, I thought that was very appropriate I really love how this one turned out and I used one of uh, Janie B's butterflies that is also in the kit and so that's there um, this is uh, a Polaroid from uh, Ruby and Pearl and I just added one of the Chinese butterflies and a little um, a little bit of gold flat back pearls and then a little glassine bag which I had coffee dyed and I had done a little bit of uh, collaging and that little flower I had made as well and another one of my little cards that I had made a while back so this one just says encourage your hopes not your fears and it slips in there and then this just slips here um, more journaling space um, this is a um, what do you call these things a um, oh my gosh a magnetic uh, paper clip or book mark whichever it says uh, grace wins every time so uh, I'm not sure what you call it but I I don't know that's what it is <laughs> and a coffee dyed um, doily and um, this beautiful hymn hymnal page so what I did here was uh, the page looks backwards but that's because it flips down because I did not want to lose the whole page so I just folded it down. I only um, uh, sewed it in the middle and that was it. And then I folded it up and there it goes. This is the other side of the doily. Um, this is a little bit of vellum. These are some vellum quotes that I have. Um, no act of kindness, however small, is wasted. And a little bit of washi tape. And so there is plenty of places to journal plus the tags and the uh, journaling cards um, this is a quote that I have from a um, 
a quote book that I had found once at a thrift store and I use it every now and then in my journals and my personal life as well. Um, this one says, when we wake up in the morning and turn our, so our soul toward you, you are there first. And so I really like that. And then um, this is a silk flower with a little jemmy there and some more embossed um, cardstock. And then on the other side, I added more of my avocado dyed trim. Um, this is that lace, that vintage lace again. And then this here is um, a stamp of the Blessed Sacrament that I have and I stamped it in gold. So I'm hoping you can see that. Um, and then this I felt was so appropriate with this because it's a little um, child, the little child uh, looking at the door of the tabernacle where the Blessed Sacrament is kept. And then um, I made this little journaling card uh, which says we love because he first loved us and that's from the first of John 419 so that just has a little bit of um, uh, dyed cheesecloth there and then we have this um, and when you flip it which for some reason it's backwards but it's um, it's some type of time card or something uh, and then here uh, it's just a little tuck spot so you can actually add a bigger tag or not add anything at all if you you know or just keep this in there so um, this little piece up here is from Janie B from the kit and then this is from my porch pin prints from their kit of the uh, uh, scripture scraps and then this is another bead that I'm another bead charm that I made so oh, sorry I think I'm I think I just moved the camera sorry about that um, this is a, a, a there are two glass beads and then a little bead cap on a bulb uh, clip and then this is some washi tape um, and then this is some a, a light pink um, ruffled lace and I think it looks white on the video, but I'm, I'm not sure. It, I see it as white on, in the video, but it is pink. It's a light pink. And then, of course, more journaling space. And then the digital. And then I have uh, the word Jesus, which is also uh, one of my stamps. And I stamped it in gold. And I did that little um, tab there. And then this here... Um, it's just a tag that I all I did was add the um, the ribbon and I use this as, as a tuck spot this is another bag that I had um, coffee dyed and I made this little cluster there and more washi tape and then in here another little collage and then I just added this little um, card which is a dove that represents the Holy Spirit and I had done this a while back as well um, and then I have just this little bit of lace as a tab there and some washi tape more lace more very light stamping scripture you know scripture stamping um, and then here this is just a pocket um, that I made with uh, one of the uh, cards, the journaling cards from the kit, and then I made this little uh, collage, and I added some lace, so that's that there, and then I made this little tag to go in it, and, well, the tag was made, I just decorated it, so I added the um, um, avocado dyed paper with some, um, what do you call this? <laughs> Oh uh, Lord, some sewing and then the scripture card and some crochet lace and some vintage lace and that just tucks in here in the pocket. Okay, and that and then we're at the end here and then so this is just a glassine bag that I coffee dyed 
and then I added a little piece of this fabric here behind the middle here where I should have actually just weaved it but I didn't want to lose the beautiful embroidered flowers so I decided to do it that way um, and then I just added a scripture card in the back and or not in the back but in inside and then I just added this little oops think of it backwards there um, journaling card here in the back and that is it so um, if you're interested in this journal it will be in my Etsy it may even be there by the time you uh, see this video um, so take a look and um, and that's it so yeah thank you all so much for watching um, you know what hold on here oh uh, I just realized I had taken this out. This necklace is going with the, um, what do you call this? With the journal book. So um, you can use it as a, a a bookmark or you don't need to, but it, it'll be there. And I thought it looked really pretty. So I had uh, originally hung it and I guess I'll do that again inside so that you can see this hanging from the front like that but um again you can use it as a bookmark or or not um in either case thank you so much all of you for watching thank you for your sweet comments um thank you for your support i really appreciate it um i will be posting this also in my instagram so um if you want to see some a few close-up pictures or in my Etsy shop um, all of the information is in is will be below the video and also in my about section in in the main page of this channel uh, and that's about it so I will be back soon because I do have a couple of things um, in the works um, so yeah so I hope you all like it and I appreciate your um, you know your support like I said so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment and if you are not subscribed please do and that's it so I will talk to you all very soon all right take care everyone bye bye